Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a rusty spiral. Start out by smoothing out your shirt, and then give a little pinch where you want the center of your spiral to be. And this is the Deluxe Microwave Splatter Guard. And I'm just showing you here how it has a hole in the top. When you go to order yours, make sure you're ordering the one that looks exactly like this one. And then you put the flat top side of it down on your shirt. Give your hemostat just one click. It doesn't need to be over tightened. You don't want to rip a hole in your shirt. And then begin to spiral it. And then with your opposite hand, create all the pleats. And just keep working it around, making your spiral until you can't go any further using the splatter guard. So sorry guys that I haven't been around as much lately. I've had a series of projects not turn out very well and I just needed to step away for a minute and take a break. So I'm going to get back into the swing of things really soon. Once you've gone as far as you can using the splatter guard, it's time to remove the hemostat. So you wanna unclamp the hemostat and gently wiggle it out while you hold it down with your opposite hand if you don't hold down the center of the spiral, you do run the risk of pulling the spiral out with you, and then you're going to have to do it all over again. I prefer to secure my projects using rubber bands as often as possible. I just find them to be quick and easy to use. And I love these rubber bands, and I got them off of Amazon, and I have links for them down below in the description box, along with everything else that I use for tie-dye. So go ahead and check that out. It makes it really easy to find the tools that I use. And then you want to just continue to work on your spiral by tucking in all of the loose tails. I prefer to make a very neat and tidy spiral. Um, it looks very sloppy right now. And for some particular reason, I think the shirt might be a little drier than I normally spiral up with because it really gives me the business. So I just want to take a quick moment to announce that we are well over a thousand members in the Facebook group. So if you haven't joined, I highly recommend that you do. The link for the Facebook group is underneath the Etsy link. It's the first Facebook group. The other one's my business page. But go in there, click on that link, and then ask to join, and I will accept you in. And then you can share your projects with me and the rest of the group, because I would love to see what you're working on. And I'm so thankful for all of you that have joined. I don't have a lot of time to spend on social media and I'm barely able to keep up with answering all the comments on YouTube. And so I appreciate all of you that are willing to offer support and help um, and answer the questions, you know, especially if they specifically ask, you know, what did I do in that or how did I do it? And you guys watch my stuff and you, you know my routine. Um, I really do appreciate you supporting each other and helping each other out. I think it's totally amazing. Now it's time for the fun part. We get to add the dye. And this is where the shirt gets its name, the Rusty Spiral. Because my setup here is the foil pan from the dollar store and their cooling rack. You can get away with using their cooling racks a couple of times, but then they begin to rust. And if you see any rust on your little dollar store cooling rack, you must throw it away. Because over the course of the batching time, that rust became even worse and, well, it ruined the shirt. And this setup here is also with the cake molds. And we have Angie at Fun Endeavors to thank for that one. She's a genius. Um, I started using the cake molds because I saw her using them and then I see everybody is using them and you guys, I went to go get myself some cake molds using my link and they're all sold out. That's how many of you guys are using the cake molds. I couldn't even get any for myself. So I think that's awesome. When adding the ice, I have found that if I start by adding it to the white part first, it helps to backfill over top of the dye. That way the ice doesn't knock the dye into the white areas where it's unwanted. And now these little foil trays leak, so make sure that you put them down inside of a tote. And you saw the other rack and um, tray there. Yeah, we have two shirts that rusted, so look forward to seeing the results on that one too. 
Right away I know something is wrong and I check my rack and sure enough there is rust. So you guys, please don't use these dollar store racks or if you're going to use them, only use them once or twice and then toss them. If you see any rust, it's not worth it. Throw it away because it will ruin your project. So you wanna start by using cold water to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric and then gradually increase your water up too hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I do however many hot water cycles it takes using Kirillon. And Kirillon is just the new name for Synthropol. And it's usually about two cycles. On the second hot water cycle, I scoop up the hot water and I check it. And if the water is basically clear, I know that I'm ready for my final hot water cycle using Millsoft. And Millsoft just brings softness back into the fabric after the dyeing process. And then I put it in the dryer and I'll iron it and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Some of you are probably thinking, wait a minute, she just did pomegranate. Yes, I did. I had to make the shirt twice because of the rust. I don't like doing things twice. It's just such a waste of time. Um, but I was worried that leaving it in would show the rust spots and it could be mistaken for part of the color split. So it's still a beautiful shirt, but I'm glad that we got to see the other pomegranate first. Well, here it is, guys. Here's our rusty pomegranate spiral ice dye after it's been washed and dried. And the spiral turned out so amazing. I'm super bummed that there's rust. Now, I know a lot of you are probably saying, hey, I don't think the rust looks that bad. And I agree with you. It kind of gives it some character. However, since the shirt is going into the Dharma dye swatch list playlist, um, I didn't think it was a good idea to feature this as pomegranate because I didn't want to have any confusion that those little rust rings right there are color splits. So I'm super bummed that I had to make it twice, uh, but you know, I don't mind. I love making spirals, um, but I would have much rather been moved on to some of the other colors by now. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this shirt. I've considered putting it up on Etsy for like five bucks just to pay for, you know, like the printer ink and some gas. Um, I don't know, I, I might just keep it. I have no idea. It's a pretty shirt. So what do you guys think of the rust spots? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie dyeing.